You may have seen the window stickers around town on the cars of Red Cross volunteers that read, I am the American Red Cross in my community. It means that volunteers are the ones who actually carry out the important work of the Red Cross, like teaching CPR, first aid, and babysitter classes, responding to disaster, answering hotline calls, supporting the military, and providing valuable, life-saving information to people. That is what the Red Cross does through its volunteers, volunteers like Beverly Eilenstein. She has done all of those things here and throughout the United States. For being the Red Cross in your community and exemplifying the true spirit of volunteerism, the Red Cross volunteers in Lebanon have selected Beverly Eilenstein as the 2012 Gloria Doss Award recipient. Back in 2004, when Bev took her first Red Cross class, she may not have envisioned the extent to which she would become a big part of the Red Cross in Lebanon, the Southern Missouri region, and throughout the United States. I took my first Red Cross class at First Baptist Church uh, whenever Bev Miller came to teach the basic class uh, so that our church could be a shelter for Red Cross if there was a need. So then that led to another class and then another class and then I became a member of the DAT team um, to go out on fire response locally and go out and help people in my own community at their time of disaster it was very rewarding. Now, any time, day or night, Bev is part of a team that helps meet the emergency needs of families who have lost everything due to a fire. She works with these families to ensure their emergency needs for shelter, food, clothing, and medical are all met. By 2007, Bev was responding to disasters throughout the United States, starting with the Missouri winter storms of 2007 and continuing with deployments to tornado-ravaged Tennessee, floods in Indiana and Massachusetts, and floods and tornadoes throughout Missouri. Bev has responded to nine national disaster events. In each of these, she is able to provide assistance and hope to people who have lost everything because of Bev's quiet strength and compassion she often becomes part of a bereavement team that works with families who have lost loved ones in the disaster. A difficult assignment, but one in which she provides the support families need. Bev uh, realized that Red Cross is more than disaster response, and she wanted to be part of the goal of training people. Our goal was to have at least one person in every family trained in life-saving skills of CPR and first aid. And so Bev just jumped right in and decided, hey, I'm going to be a, a CPR first aid instructor and she knows this is very rigorous and time consuming but that didn't stop her at all and she knew the importance of training these people in these life-saving skills. But that wasn't enough for Bev. She wanted to help young people learn the valuable skills to become competent babysitters and attain the self-confidence needed to succeed. So she took the training to become a babysitter instructor and now together with a team of volunteers helps conduct the babysitters classes and a week-long babysitters camp in Lebanon. Bev didn't stop there. She is always searching for more ways she can provide the services of Red Cross in her community. She is always available to sit at Red Cross booths and tables at community events to provide information that helps prevent disasters or save a life in the time of disaster. She has also been an integral part of participating in the national hotline where she gives valuable information to those who need assistance during the disaster all around the United States. So if you have ever suffered loss from a disaster, been trained for CPR, had a child who took a babysitter's class, or hired a babysitter who had those classes, or received valuable information regarding preventing and surviving disasters, chances are you have seen Bev Eilenstein. She seems to be everywhere Red Cross is in our community and throughout the Southern Missouri region and even throughout the United States. Beverly Eilenstein is the Red Cross in your community and for her dedication and unwavering quest to help others, she has been honored with the Gloria Doss Award for 2012.